Okay. All right, let's pray. Father, we come to you and thank you so much for this beautiful day, and we thank you for blessings uh, so much more than we deserve. We ask your continued blessings on us this morning as we're, we're gathered together. Help us to open our hearts and our minds to, to uh, seek you, to worship you. Thank you for everyone that's present. We pray your continued blessings on us for health and safety, and pray for those especially that were mentioned for healing and for comfort. And I know there's many others, but we just pray your blessings on those who need you at this time. Please be with us as we open our hearts in song. And and again, we're thankful for this time that uh, we can be outside and be with one another, encourage and strengthen one another. Pray for your blessings as on us as we continue to worship you. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning, family. Our first song is going to be Hallelujah, Praise Jehovah. And if you're able, can you please stand with me for this song? And after this song, after we finish, we'll be led in prayer. Hallelujah, praise Jehovah. From the heavens, praise His name. Praise Jehovah in the highest. All His angels praise proclaim. All His hosts together praise Him. Sun and moon and stars on high. Praise Him, O ye heaven of heavens. And ye floods above the sky. Let them praise. Jehovah, for his name alone is high, and his glory is exalted, and his glory is exalted, and his glory is exalted, far above the earth and sky. All ye fruitful trees and cedars, all ye hills and mountains high, creeping things and beasts and cattle, birds that in the heavens fly, kings of earth and all ye people, princes, great earth's judges all. Praise his name, young men and maidens, aged men and children small. Let them praise his give Jehovah, for his name alone is high. And his glory is exalted, and his glory is exalted, and his glory is exalted far above the earth and sky. You may be seated. Good morning. Good morning. Before I lead us in an opening prayer, I just want to take time to announce uh, a first of first for the Lancaster Walk for Water. On July 11th, we're going to do the first ever hybrid Walk for Water. So you're thinking, what in the world does he mean, hybrid? Well, due to the unforeseen circumstances this year, we know that COVID-19 has kind of affected what we do and in gatherings. So this year, for the first time, we're going to try this out. And you guys are going to be our first pilot test for this. So here's how it works. On July 5th through July 11th, you have an opportunity to participate by doing it from your own home. If you're on vacation, you can do it from the beach. If you want to go to the mountains and hike where it's cooler, you can do a four-mile walk. And Alex is going to be able to get your shirts beforehand. So you'll register online by July 11th. And when you register, it's going to say, do you want to walk in person or virtually? If you select virtually, she'll know that you need to get a shirt beforehand and you can do it from the comforts of your home. You can include your family, your friends, your neighbors, however you feel comfortable. And then on July 11th, we're gonna have the first walk that's gonna be held in this parking lot. So basically, we're gonna look like it is today, and then we're gonna walk around uh, the building as much as we can and enjoy time together keeping social distancing. So that is what a hybrid walk for water looks like. 
I can't tell you what it looks like because we've never done it. But I want to invite you to do it. So it's really simple. Just like before, go to the website, register, walkforwater.org. Select either in person or virtually. And then you'll get your shirt. You'll be able to participate and we'll be able to make a difference. Uh, so does that sound like a plan? All right. Looking forward to seeing you guys in a couple of weeks. I'll be back up here. Uh, but if you don't mind now, we're going to we're going to have a prayer. Father, what a blessing it is to worship. And as we worship outside this, this morning, Father, we think about all those brothers and sisters around the world that don't have church buildings, that meet under a tree or under a shade spot if they can find one. And that's what unifies us throughout this world, Father, is that we are worshiping you. And so whether we're here in Lancaster or we're in a small village in Africa or wherever we're at in the world, Father, we know that we are here this morning to praise you, to sing in harmony, to fellowship with one another, to listen from a message from your word. And Father, just to encourage one another as we continue to go out into the world each and every day and be lights for you. So I just ask that you be with us this morning. Help us to focus our minds, not let the heat be a distraction, but for everything that's within us to praise you. And when a time comes for us to gather around the table that we remember why we're here, the ultimate sacrifice of your son. And then rejoice because because of that sacrifice, we can live here on the earth and live eternally with you in heaven. And that is what we, we sing praises about daily. So just be with us this morning. Help us to enjoy this time. And most importantly, Father, let us always give praise to you. It's in your son's name we pray. Amen. Our next song is going to be My Only Hope Is You. My only hope is you. <clears throat> song will be how deep the father's love how deep the father's love after this song we will <clears throat> partake of the lord's supper <clears throat> Chosen one, bring many sons. 
sons to glory. Behold the man upon a cross, my sin upon his shoulders. Ashamed I hear my mocking among the scoffers. It was my sin that held him there until it was accomplished. His dying breath has brought me that it is finished. I will not boast in anything. No gifts, no power, no wisdom. But I will boast in Jesus Christ, his death and resurrection. Why should I gain from his reward? I cannot give an answer, but this I know with all my heart. His have paid the ransom. So it was uh, starting a project. We've had time for projects a little bit these days, and uh, I was working with some PVC board, so I, I needed a very specific screw. So I went to the hardware store, and I found my very specific screw for the material I was working with, and I brought it home, and I, I put it in a safe place, and about two weeks later, I was ready to start my project, and guess what? I couldn't find my screws. <laughs> You know, I, I looked in the logical places by my drill set, by my circular saw, the porch by the, where the by the boards, and it wasn't anywhere to be found. So, so I started a search, and you know, when you're looking for something that's lost, it could be in a hundred different places. Uh, and I, after I looked in about 99 of them, I found the place, and I got the <laughs> screws, and I started the job. For our communion thought this morning, I want to contrast something that can be found in a hundred different places versus something that can be only found in one place. And the text I'm using is Acts 4, chapter 12, or chapter 4, verse 12. The text says, And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. And so when it comes to the subject of salvation, of forgiveness of sins, of redemption, of forgiveness, uh, it's easy. There's only one place to look. It can't be lost. There's only one place to find this. And each week as we partake of the communion, we remind ourselves of this, the one place that we find forgiveness and salvation. Uh, let's think about that as our communion thought as we partake of the bread and say a prayer before we do. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for the many blessings that you've given us, Father. And we thank you that, that we can find redemption and salvation through Jesus. And we understand that's the only place to look. It's the only place that we can be right with you, Father. Help us to think about this as we partake of the Lord's Supper. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Let's continue in prayer. Father, we continue in prayer as we recognize the blood the medium that shed that saves us from our sins that was shed for us father and help us to think about this as we partake of it in christ name we pray amen
as a final thought, uh, we'll remind ourselves that, that we have, and even in these times of crisis and trial and tribulation, if you want to kind of go, uh, go big, uh, we are still so blessed. And we need to remember the way we've been blessed, and we need to be sure that we are good stewards of what we've been given and give back to God. So uh, the box is here for after church, and let's, let's just say a prayer of thanking God for the way he's graciously blessed us. Father, we continue to re recognize how much you bless us, Father, materially, spiritually, and with family, with friends, in so many ways, Father. Help us to remember to be generous in giving to you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. <coughs> Our next two songs, are you able to please stand with me? <clears throat> Our next song will be the Lily of the Valley. <coughs> the Lily of the Valley. I have found a friend in Jesus. He's everything to me. He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. The Lily of the Valley. In him alone I see all I need to cleanse and make me fully whole. In sorrow he's my comfort. In trouble he's my stay. He tells me every care on him to roll. He's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. He will never, never leave me, nor yet forsake me here, while I live by faith and do his blessed will. No wall of fire about me, I've nothing now to fear. With his manna he my hungry soul shall fill. Then sweeping up to glory to see his blessed face, where rivers of delight shall ever roll. He's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. <clears throat> Our next song will be Restore My Soul. Restore My Soul. This will be the song before the lesson. <coughs> so 